Good morning everyone, welcome. Uh, in this series of videos, I have been going through all the labs for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Examination that are available on the GitHub. Usually I have been doing uh, one video per different task. Okay, so if one lab section had three different tasks, I would do three videos, but this uh, particular lab where manage Azure resources by using Azure Parcel. All three tasks are pretty small, so I'm just gonna cover all, all three of them in one video. So it may get a little bit lengthy. And here the estimated time is 20 minutes. I'm hoping to get it done less than that. So just be patient uh, with me in this lab. So the goal is we have already seen uh, how to create resources using the using uh, from the portal. In the last series of videos, we looked at how to deploy uh, resources using uh, uh, templates and parameters files. And this lab, we want to use the PowerShell. Now, Azure has a really great feature called the Cloud Cell, which is uh, from the browser, you can run all of the PowerShell commands. And we're going to use that for this uh, lab exercise. So let's start it. So the first task is to start a parcel session in Azure Cloud. So that's really, really easy. So let's go to our our Azure environment. And all you need to do is click on this icon right here. And it's going to open up this little black box uh, text editor at the, at the bottom. And here you really have both Bass and Parcel enabled. Uh, Parcel is what I'm going to use in this lab. Uh, you can also use the BAS commands uh, for doing the similar kind of stuff. If you're doing it for the first time, you may be asked to create a storage account. It just say yes and just uh, be done with it. All right, so let's go back to the lab and see if there's anything else. If prompted, select either BAS or partial. Select partial. Uh, create storage, as I already said. Just uh, everything is good ensure so we have really done this portion of the lab already so then the next lab uh, task is to create a resource group and and as you manage this by using partial so to create a resource group in the same as your region as az 103 brg1 resource group you have created in the previous lab from the partial session with cloud shell run the following command so Try to understand the commands that we're going to run. So this is going to get the Azure resource group where the name of the resource group is this and that has a property is dot location. So we're going to set that property. So let's run actually this one without storing it first. So if I just run this, it says that resource group not, does not even exist. Okay, so let's uh, run, let's first run this. So sometimes time to time you're gonna have some problems that you need to solve. Get as your resource group, resource group name is not available. So is that true? So let's go to our resource groups and let's see AZ 10403B, AZ 10403B, is that resource group is there or not? AC104 and that is correct in I in my environment I do not even have that resource group okay so either as part of the lab I have already deleted the resource group so I just do not have that so let's use uh, 03a rg1 instead of B okay so let's go back and use 0303 a for our lab so what it's gave us is east us that means this resource group that i have deployed that with the name az10403 arg1 is located in the east us region okay so now we can store that whole information in in the location group in the location variable okay so all we need to change is 03 instead of B I'm gonna use a so now the location is now stored in this variable okay so you can probably just do location and it should I didn't do anything so you can maybe do echo 
dollar location yeah so that is printing that it's the east us is now stored in this location variable okay uh, next we are storing a new rg name so this is a new resource group that we're going to create and this is the resource group the name that we're going to use az 10403c so that is now stored under this variable so you can also do echo dollar rg name and it should say that name so we have verified that now here is the comment that you need to create a new resource group okay a new az resource group okay new az is a new azure then resource group then you name what is the name the name that we have already saved so that would be az10403 rg1 what is the location the location that we have already stored that's that would be east us so now let's run the command and let's look at what happened so once the command is done so it says that provision state succeeded here is my resource ID and kind of take a look at the resource ID it's usually it starts with the subscription then your subscription ID then your resource group then your name of the resource group okay that's how uh, the uh, resource ID is generated so now if I go back to my resource group I expect to see a resource group with this name so let's verify that okay so let's come over here refresh this and put this here and there we go so we have now created a resource group using PowerShell which is deployed in the East US okay let's go back to the lab uh, to retrieve the properties of the newly created resource group you can also do this get as your resource group and name pass the name of the resource group so let's do that over here and this is giving you the properties of that resource group right now we kind of already verified because this information was already given to us at the deployment time uh, next to create a new managed disk with the same characteristic as those you created in the previous labs of the module run the following okay so let's uh, look let's first look at what it's trying to do okay uh, so it's first it's storing some information disk configuration new AZ disk configuration so this is a configuration command where you're gonna store the location the create option empty disk size GB32 SKU standard uh, LRA so you can copy all that and uh, you can first run this command and this is now stored all this option is now stored in the disk config variable now what is the disk name let's store that one in another variable so that's the disk name and now once we have that configuration ready we can run the new az disk what what is the new thing we need we need a disk so the command is new az disk do you see the pattern so resource group name rg name uh, we already have the define in our in our environment disk name and disk with this disk configuration please deploy it so let's get that one let's put it in here so new disk so resource group name we are providing disk name we are providing and we are also providing the disk configuration that we want so let's hit enter and it should start uh, deploy yeah it's already done uh, let's look at what it's doing so resource group name it's uh, it's correct uh, SKU Microsoft Azure management compute model disk SKU uh, let's see what else creation data is available over here disk size is 32 gigs uh, it's a succeeded so this should be available to us uh, encryption is uh, available over here and again if you look at the ID it starts with the subscription subscription ID resource group resource group ID then it looks at the provider who provides this resource providers this comes from the Microsoft compute so it goes into Microsoft compute then it disk is what we are generating so it goes down to disk and then the name of the disk so see the pattern again how you uh, define the ID so here's the name 
uh, it's type is Microsoft Compute Disk so I'm pretty happy with this one so let's go back uh, over here and uh, look at the resource group again so if I go to the resource group I'm expecting to see that particular resource and right there it is so now we have created a resource using the parcel and then deployed the disk resource I'm sorry we have created a resource group and then deploy the resource both using parcel let's go back to the lab and again if you want to retry the properties you can run this command over here it's again get easy disk resource group name which resource group that disk is located and what is the name of the disk and then it's going to give you the same information that you got at the deployment time okay so you got that um, so the third so we're done with the task two as well so let's go to task three just configure the manage this by using parser so what you want to do in this task you will managing the configuration of the Azure manage this by using parser session with cloud shell to increase the size of the Azure manage this to 64 gigs we can run this command so let's read this so new is it disk update config so we're going to update the configuration we're going to update the disk size to 64 and we're going to run update is a disk resource group name and we're going to pass those parameters so uh, just to be sh to 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 check one more time so right now the disk size is 32 gigs and we're going to run this command you're going to come over here and we're going to run this nice command and we're going to wait for a couple minutes and it's it has already changed the disk size to 64 gigs so that's how easy it is to run a command in one line and you are now managing your disk so let's go back to verify that your change took effect run the following so you can also run this but we already know that it has taken effect so it's asking you to do the same thing so if I run this you're gonna get the same information back again and again here disk size is now showing 64 gigs you can also double verify from the portal so now if you click on this disk this disk size here it says 64 gigs not 32 so that's another way to verify all right next uh, we have done to verify the current SQS standard LRS run the following command so let's see what kind of SQ do we have so this time and it's saying so so see this is also interesting so this this is actually getting your resource and then you also dot sq means you're only interested in that property so that's how you're getting back this information it's and it says standard LRS standard so that's what we were expecting if you want to change that to premium we can run a similar command just like that uh, the way we increased our uh, size is he new as a disk update config so this is important disk update config we we ran the same command is a disk update config last time we passed the disk size and this time we're gonna pass SKU so now we are saying hey change it to premium LRS okay and passing the same where do we want this to affect in this particular resource group in that particular disk so let's hit run and then we will run if you click on your up arrow twice it's gonna give you the previous command so I can run this command again now and now you can see that it has now changed to premium LRS premium another way to change it's already changed over here to premium SSD okay so let's go back to the lab so we have already verified so this lab we have completed successfully um, in this lab we started a parcel from the cloud cell we created a resource group using parcel we created a disk resource within that resource group using parcel then we have modified and managed the disk uh, using parcel so be familiar with these commands uh, it's important for your daily work and also important for the exam understand how they work and, and good luck with the exam if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends thank you